Hey, Kelly here with a really great Zapier tip for creating very simple drip email process in Gmail. By simple, I mean super, super simple sequence, because if you require too much conditional logic in your sequence, then you're probably going to need an email or marketing automation tool. But use this Zap if you want an in-between solution. So let's take a three-step welcome series, for example, where in message one, we're gonna send a welcome aboard email. Message two is gonna be a meet our team email. And message three is gonna be something about how they can get our best customer service. So let's get that set up right now. So for this demo, we're going to use a deal being one in pipe drive as our trigger step. And uh, we're going to be sending out our drip email sequence using Gmail. So you can use any other CRM, of course, and any other email sending service. Uh, you'd just set them up slightly differently. Um, so the action events would be a little bit different um, to this demo. So um, for the purposes of using Pipedrive in this demo for the trigger, uh, we want to use deal matching filter. And you'll see that the filter option is going to be all one deals, which is a standard filter that's been set up in your Pipedrive account. Uh, the next thing that we want to do is we want to personalize the emails a little bit. And um, how we want to do that is to take the person's name from Pipedrive. Um, and as it doesn't come through in this trigger step as first name and surname, it just comes through as, as both names. We want to be able to split that so that we can use John's first name in, um, in the emails. So what we'll do for that is we'll use uh, the formatter by Zapier um, app, and we're going to use the action event text, and then we'll use the transform function split text. Um, the separator, we don't actually need to add anything in here because the default is space, and that's what's um, here in, in John Smith's name. And this first segment is the one that we want. The next thing we need to do is add in a delay. So we'll use the delay by Zapier app and the delay for action event. And we want the first email to go out after an hour after our deal has been won. So we'd add in one hour here and set that up. And then our first email that we'll send out using Gmail, which of course we would use the send email uh, action event. Um, we'll map in the person's email address, use the um, account that we obviously want to send it from, and I've put in my name. We've put in a subject, welcome aboard, and you can either add plain or HTML um, body type text. Um, a little tip here for you, if you do want to use HTML, you can use a handy tool called wordhtml.com um, to transform from plain text into HTML, uh, which helps you to customize it a little bit more. I've, I've mentioned this in a couple of my other demos as well. And um, as you can see, we've just added some text in here for our welcome email to John. And um, I've added in the, my signature as well. So that's great. And the next delay that we want to add in is for three days. So the first one would be one hour after the deal is won. The next one would be three days after the deal is won. And the last one would be one week. So we'd use the same um, app. So delay by Zapier, delay four. And we're going to put three days in here. And our next email that goes out pretty much the same setup. We'll just change the subject and change the body type, um, body text here. And our third email, we want to delay for a week. And again, we've just customized our body text here and changed our subject. So all three of them are pretty much the same in terms of um, the field specifics, except for the subject and uh, the body type. And that is basically how you use Zapier to send a simple drip email sequence. Launching a simple welcome series instantly when you get a new customer shows them that you really care about their first impression. And to cement that relationship even further, you could add an SMS sequence in there as well. Leave me a comment if you'd like me to do an upcoming video on that. And you can get a copy of this template at www.solver.co.uk forward slash templates. 
And for more tips like this one, you could subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the bell so that you're notified as soon as I post a new video. And if you'd like to be notified when my new course has launched with tons of Zapier tips and tricks, visit my website and get on my course launch list. The details are in the video description down below. So see you on the next video. Work smarter, not harder.